my God, I have the best food in the world today. None other than birria tacos from Paco's Fresh Mex. I'm so excited. I got the regular birria quesadillas and the queso ones. Okay, let's, let's dig into the queso ones first. Oh my God, Paco's Fresh Mex is a food truck in the DMV area. It is ridiculously good. Like, oh my God. Mm. It's still hot too. You guys, seriously, nothing beats this. Just look at this. Mmm. You guys, video tacos, I think I actually like them better than lasagna, which I never thought it was something I would say. Mmm! Also, sorry if the lighting is weird because it's like getting dark outside. Oh my god. To say these are even simply delectable is a complete understatement. You know what I kind of want to try? I kind of want to save the consomme and eat it with like eggs tomorrow. I wonder how that would taste. These are the regular beef ones. Sometimes I like them without the cheese because I feel like they give you more meat. I can already feel myself sweating. <laughs> okay, I need to slow down. It's all. It's only been two minutes. Chill, Gabs. Chill, you don't need to be rushing. The food's not going anywhere as people on TikTok would say. Mmm. I'm just so happy. Mmm, look at that onion and cilantro. And just look at what's in the consomme. Just so much flavor. You guys have to follow Paco's Fresh Mex on Instagram. I don't know how many times I've said it. I'm sure you guys are so sick of me saying that, but you won't regret it. Mmm! So juicy! Wait, they also gave me these two sauces that I've never tried before. This one. Ooh. It smells. Oh, put my I put my thumb in the consomme. <laughs> you guys, sorry, that was a fart. I don't know why I've been farting so much. On my way back. <laughs> Wait, this is so funny. On my way back from getting these tacos, this one girl in like her car beeped the horn and was like, hi, sloth girl. And I was like, oh my God, hi. Like I was freaking out. And this other girl behind me was like, oh my God, you're sloth girl. And while she said that, I like, like released the biggest fart. And I was like, oh, hi. And I started walking with her. I was so scared. She probably smelled it and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> But I was like desperately trying to walk. I was like, oh, let's like walk together. <laughs> and she was such a sweetheart though. I love when you guys come up to me. It is, I saw um, some people like messaged me on Instagram one time. They were like, I thought I saw you at Tyson's Corner, like the mall, but I didn't go and say hi. And I'm like, oh my God, no, you guys, please say hi to me if you see me.
It seriously makes my entire day. <laughs> it was funny one time. This girl went up to me in this bar bathroom. She's like, oh my God, soft girl, hi. She's like, I'm sure you're so annoyed at people going up to you like at places. I was like, hell no, this helps so much with my social anxiety because like there are people that know me, so it's exciting. And she's like, oh, okay, well, I have to go. <laughs> she's like, deaf probably was like, okay, do not tell me your whole life story. <laughs> I'm so glad I got two orders of this, y'all. Ah! It's seriously just the best. It's the best. Let's get another close up shot. I look so serious. <laughs> you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been feeling a little discouraged lately. And I want you guys to know that I don't do any of this like strictly for money, but I'm having so much trouble, like so much trouble finding a manager or finding management. And I feel like until I have management, I'm just, I'm not good at selling myself to brands at all. Um, I think it's because I have severe imposter syndrome, but it's just hard to grow as an influencer when you don't have like that management and that like representation. I've emailed countless management companies and nothing. Part of me is like, oh my god, do you think they like look at my content and is like, this person's just weird? I don't know. My roommate was reminding me that like, nothing's gonna happen in a day, you know? Like, I'm, they're, I'm not, they're not gonna like immediately respond to me, you know? So I need to give it a little bit of time. I'm super impatient. Mmm. But until then, I'll just keep eating my beauty of tacos. Finally, I'm like saying it correctly. If I'm saying it wrong, so please correct me. Because I know you're supposed to roll the R. Birria. Birria. Not birria. Like I used to say in the past. Okay, in the past, like a week ago. <laughs> mm. Okay. Quesa tacos finished. Now we have two more of the straight beef ones. It's good that I got two because I eat these so fast. Okay, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna throw this out. I'm glad that this kind of covers my shirt because this is like a very low cut shirt. But yeah, so listen, I'm not, I don't want a manager just because I wanna make a shit ton of money, right? It's because I would love to do this full time one day. And again, I know I just need patience. <sighs> which I, I don't have, like I never was a patient person. But it's hard and it's just a little discouraging when like no man, I've reached out to at least like, like I think like 10 management companies or like 15 and nothing. I heard back from one of them, but they flaked twice. Like <laughs> they made a meeting with me and I was ready for the meeting and then they just never showed up. And then they rescheduled um, and then they flaked again <laughs> and I tried following up and they just never responded. So I'm like, ooh, what do you guys think happened? Do you think they like look at my, I'm afraid they look at my TikTok, like follow it and get, okay, this definitely doesn't happen. They're not looking at me that in depthly. They're probably just busy, to be honest with you. But, I don't know. I understand, you know. 
it just is sad because okay living in dc and having like content creating as your full-time job seems like it would be really stressful because my rent is expensive like i eat out a lot I don't know it, it just is expensive um right now kind of having like two incomes is really nice but eventually if I want to do content creating full-time it's just something I can't see for myself at all right now because I okay whenever the meat falls in I take a spoon and I eat it but yeah like I don't have a consistent amount of money coming in from like brand deals so it's just hard to see that as a future goal of mine if I don't even have management and I'm really bad at selling myself to brands <laughs> I think that I have imposter syndrome meaning people tell me I should be you know pricing doing like my videos at a certain price and I'm always like oh I'm just eating like am I really taking that much work but yes I am you know it's it's like a business, right? So I need to like not have that imposter syndrome. I don't know. I also feel like I need to do a lot more self-reflection. I used to journal a lot like a few months ago and I kind of stopped doing it. And I don't like that I stopped doing it. I feel like there's lots to think about. I think I've just been like coasting through, not thinking a lot about myself. Um, but it's time to start journaling again. I need to start uplifting myself more. <laughs> you guys definitely help with that. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. But slow and steady wins the race. Oh my god, I farted again, you guys. I think it's because I've been, okay, I think it's because I've been eating more protein. I don't know though, because am I eating that much more protein? I'm trying to eat more protein because, like, to, I don't know, gain more muscle, I guess. But I know protein intake like makes you gassy but this is on a whole other level <laughs> oh my god last one are you kidding last taco i'm gonna use this sauce for it no actually actually yeah i'm gonna use this one for it but then i'm gonna save this what am i doing i need to start trying the other things on paco's fresh max's menu And just their birria tacos are so good. So I have to get it every time I go. Mmm! They're in DC twice this week, so some of my friends are coming over tomorrow and they're getting it. Because I always rave about them. Mmm! -hmm. And they're such a good price. Like some beauty tacos at other like restaurants are like twenty dollars for three. For three at Paco's, it's like thirteen or fifteen. Which is a good price considering beauty tacos are like normally really expensive. Mm. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm, I'm just in love, if I'm being quite frank. <laughs> the meat is everything. All right. 
Last bite. We dipping. Okay. Second to last. <laughs> These napkins are so dirty. All right, now last one. Well, you guys, my mouth is probably a mess, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hee <laughs> hee. Bye.